data encapsulation and decapsulation in a network produced by Ablative Alim, Student College of Art and Science, University of Utah, Malaysia. Internet Protocol Stack The Internet Protocol Stack consists of several layers, which include the application layer, the transport layer, the network layer, the data link layer, the physical layer. In the application layer, we have several protocols such as the HTTP, Telnet, DNS, FTP, and others. In the transport layer, we have protocols such as the TCP, the UDP. In the network layer, we have protocols such as the IP, the routing protocol. And in the data link layer, we have protocols such as the PPP, the open shortage path first, and the ERP and others. In the physical layer, the physical layer is a medium where data are transported. The link will be shielded, will be unshielded, could be wireless, could be wired, and information traveling is in the form of ones and zero, which is referred to as bits. So let's see what happens when data is being sent from one computer to the other in the network. The downward movement of data in the Internet protocol stack is referred to as data encapsulation. Encapsulation, downward movement. And the upward movement at the recipient side is referred to as decapsulation. So let's see what the data is. A data file in the network will be in the form of picture file, audio file, video file, and even a text file. You see, no matter what format the data is, been sent across the network and is expected to be received just the way it was sent. And for this to be accomplished, so many things associated with it. So let's see what encapsulation is in an analog game. Let's see in a manufacturing industry where capsule is being produced, we have several faces assigned to workers to pack this capsule in a form whereby it could be sold out as a capsule in a pack so the same thing applies when data is to be sent from computer A to computer B in a network so when computer A wants to send a data to computer B it's been passed to the app through the internet protocol stack from data which is sent to the transport level. The transportation mode is chosen, it will be TCP or UDP mode of transportation. And that, an header, which is the TCP header or the UDP header is attached, and the information is now sent down to the lower layer, which is the network layer. At the network layer, the IP addressing is attached to the segment which was sent down to the network layer. When the IP header is attached, this segment becomes what is called a packet and further sent down to the data link layer. At the data link layer, the MAC address and the LLC is added, which is referred to as the frame and even the error currency code is added as well and for that sent to the medium. At the medium, information travels in form of ones and zeros, so the frame is converted into several ones and zeros and sent across the network. So what has happened here? That are traveled from the application layer down to the transport layer to what is far as a segment and further down to the network layer which the segment is encapsulated into a packet and down to the data link layer which the packet is further encapsulated in two frames and finally to the physical layer where the frame is converted to ones and zeros and send across the network so let's look at the pop up movement of the frame that has traveled to the other side so this comes out at the data link layer whereby the data is being checked for error if there is no error the header are stripped off and uh, sent up to the network layer at the network layer the 
network layer header which is the IP header I stripped off and for the central transport layer add the transport layer the TCP header which was attached initially is being stripped off and the data is sent up to the application layer of which the recipient received the whatever information will be sent at the other side <laughs> pretty cool huh <laughs> so information travel from computer A to computer B via the internet protocol stack where the data and the application layer is being attached with the header and it's further sent down to the network layer the data which was the segment is sent to the data in the network layer and the network layer and the other header is attached and the so far so as packet and the packet is now sent down to the data network layer where another header is attached and is referred to as from the frame travel in the middle and from the frame zero to the other side. That's encapsulation. So the encapsulation, the open movement of data, the initial attached header at the data link layer is being stripped off and sent to the network layer. At the network layer, the IP header is being stripped off and sent to the transport layer. At the transport layer, well, the TCP header is being stripped off also and uh, the data is sent to the application layer of which the recipient computer received the information. <laughs> I got message. So the headers, let's take a look at the layers. Headers as usual with encapsulations uh, basically three. We have the segment header, which was the one attached at the transport layer. We have the packet header, which was the one attached at the network layer. And we have the frame header, which was attached at the data link layer, the lower layer. The segment, the packet, the frame. So oh, let's look what happened. You see that I get encapsulation into segment and for the encapsulated into packet and for the encapsulated you know, frame. So let's take a look at the segment. It could be either of two types the UDP segment format, which has just the port number, the destination number, the length of the packet, the checksum, the uh, information just like the acknowledgement, the window size. This is not there. This is only attached when a TCP mode of transportation is chosen, whereby a further information is added, like the sequence number, the acknowledgement number, the window size, and stuff like that, you know, for a reliable mode of transportation. So, the packet header, packet header have several information, which include time to read, that's time to data is to spend on the network, the 32 bit source IP address for the source and the destination. So that's a packet header. And the reframe header we have the error collection codes and the map address and stuff like that. It's added to. So for an acronym for easy remembrance of how data get encapsulated, you know data which was encapsulated into segment and two packet and for that two frame and from frame A is converted to form of ones and zero and sent across to the network on the TCP protocol stack. So I can rather say did Sally part for Bahama. Hope you understand how the data is being encapsulated and decapsulated in the network. Thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Salam alaikum.